Hey guys, I'm going to be showing you every single cosmetic and skill perk unlock uh, currently in the game. Uh, we'll start off with the masterminds. So, just so you know, there's actually a few hidden ones that are not uh, visibly shown. When you reach level 50, you actually unlock uh, gold cosmetic stuff for your characters and also for some enemy creatures. So here, as you can see, there's the golden zombie cosmetic, and uh, I'll just show you all the cosmetics. That's for the zombies. Again, the gold cosmetic is when you unlock level 50 for your mastermind. It'll be different for each zombie type, so example this zombie here. The Jester doesn't actually have one, or at least not right now, but as far as I know. So that's for the creature cosmetics. And then over here we have voice lines. Science at its peak. What did I miscalculate? <laughs> you will die alone. It was for humanity. Do not blame me. This whole mess is Umbrella's fault. You can't hide. So these are all the uh, voice line options. You can choose up to four. And then there's like these uh, animations. And you can actually do all these animations when you control the creature, like the zombies. And they have an insane amount of sprays. Like, a ridiculous amount. Now some of these graffitis and things are also only available at a higher level. Um, same for like animations and whatnot, they'll be like level 40, I think there's some just below level 50.
This one actually reminds me of like a Super Saiyan. If anyone that knows what I'm talking about. And yeah. So it doesn't look like there's any Rebecca posters. Um, once you're high enough level, you unlock your decks where you can customize uh, whatever you want just by clicking a creature and then just going through whatever it is you want. Every mastermind pretty much has the same stuff with the exception of a few things. Uh, all abilities are pretty much the same for each mastermind. Now these you can just see even if they're locked, so that's why I'm just kind of zooming through it real quickly. And then of course the skills, which also can be seen even though they're locked. So I won't even waste your guys' time with that. Um, you do get like different creature selection as you higher as you're higher level. So there's that. And again, different creatures depending on. Uh, you know, the character you pick. So like I said before, all the costumes and everything here in the cosmetic section is all the same for all masterminds. And my personal experience, Alex is probably the best mastermind in the game right now. She is ridiculously strong. Um, I've had a lot of playthrough with Spencer. He's decent, but I don't think he's like the greatest. So, I mean, the force field does a lot of damage, but or the damage field, I guess, and it only lasts for such a short duration. But it takes like 400 damage per second, which is pretty nice. But yeah, I don't know. Like it says, time stalling and mods. If you're looking for a long played out game, I guess this is the the route to go. But if you're looking to like just destroy people, I think Alex Wesker is definitely the choice. Like the explosives, the the infection, it's just so insane to deal with. Like people are forced to carry blue herbs and infection sprays and things like that, which takes up an additional slot, whereas in most cases you don't even carry those things. So having to sacrifice items, which is already a very crucial thing like slots, is um, just for like a blue spray because of infection rate, is, is already detrimental to the gameplay. On top of the obvious factor of damage. Uh, so we'll go into survivors. We'll start off with Valerie. This is what Valerie's uh, 50 plus costume looks like. So we have the default.
And then of course the gold once you hit level 50. And then you have the choice of guns, like golden guns. And And as you can see, pretty much every single weapon selection has a gold uh, weapon, with the exception of what looks to be this 2x4. Uh, if there is a gold variant, I haven't seen it or unlocked it. I don't, don't think there is a gold variant, so I would have certainly unlocked it by now, I'm pretty sure. And then like the gestures slash animations. And then of course the sprays, which you guys have already seen. Um, they're pretty much all the same for the mastermind. Uh, they might be a little bit easier to see in, with the white background, I suppose. Because they're like transparent images, right? Alright, let's go on to the next character. Let's go to Becca. So this is her gold uh, cosmetic. This is the default. It's kind of like a Claire Resident Evil 2 uh, costume here. But with like the wings on the front as opposed to like the back. Maybe inspired by it. Again, same deal with the guns. Uh, they're all pretty much the same. This doesn't change. These are the animations for the characters. They're unique per character. Every time I see this gold suit, I think of like a hazmat suit in gold.
Here we got the Chad. <laughs> I mean, if he wasn't Chad enough before, god damn. All right, and the best for last. You guys ready for this? A rank 99 hacker. It's fitting, guys. All right, and that pretty much sums it up. That is uh, every cosmetic perk skill in the game currently available. Um, yeah. For those that don't know, I mean, going above rank 40, 50, I mean, once you get rank 50, you, you unlock all the gold stuff for those characters or masterminds and stuff. But there's no benefit to being higher than, uh, we'll say like rank 30. Once you hit rank 30 for a character, there's there's no reason to go above it. Because there's no perks, there's no benefits. You don't get like any extra skills, you don't get equipment slot increase. Or more points to put on more equipment. So for anyone that's wondering like, oh my god, rank 999 or whatever, it... it doesn't matter. There's no actual benefit. It's not like you get increased anything, so. So yeah, if you're playing and you want the gold stuff and all everything pretty much unlocked, get to level 50 on every character and you'll have it. But if you're just looking for the basics, um, like the, the core essentials, like the equipment maximization, like the min-maxing, uh, go to level 30, get to level 30, because that's pretty much where it, it pretty much ends, so. Level 30 will give you 15 uh, equipment points, or maybe even like level 27 or something, or 25, I don't remember, but 30 is like a definite, so. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um,
again for anyone that was wondering about secondary skills or passives and stuff like that you can see them already so it doesn't really matter um, actually I'm not too sure about these ones if these are visible by default so I guess I can just show them real quick so I'll give them a quick show it's been so long since I've seen beyond the first passive and skills and stuff so I'll just give them a quick glance for anyone that is curious so this can also help you determine like do I really want to go above and beyond for like you know character level rank just so you guys can see what you're getting One thing I could tell you, the camera lockdown, it is a very annoying skill. It's good if you have like no zombies or enemies around you or like you're doing an exit, but like in general if you're trying to get in and get out, like I would not recommend that passive or that ability skill. It's better to just do the quick camera hack and just get out way faster because you you would have to hold it down to use that ability and it just it sucks having to hold it down for 30 seconds but again if you're sitting on an exit then it's not a big deal it's actually useful then Alright, and that should summarize every single character, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, see you in the next.